Late last month, two men robbed this downtown Whitehorse Indian restaurant by knife point. The thieves stole around $1,200 in cash. The incident left the restaurant's owners shaken and they're concerned for their employees and customers' safety. We didn't know after opening this business that on top of this we would have to deal with this as well and it's really stressful. It's become a concerning trend in downtown Whitehorse. The Whitehorse RCMP say property crime is on the rise. The most recent RCMP statistics show a 28% increase in break and enters between April and June of this year compared to the same quarter last year. A 17% increase in thefts under $5,000, a 60% increase in vehicle thefts, a 108% increase in thefts from motor vehicles, and over half of total police service calls occurred in the downtown area. What's happening right now is absolutely unacceptable. Yukon's premier says a small number of bad actors are harming the community. There's been too many instances of uh, buildings, homes, vehicles being broken into. Again yesterday, the day before, it continues. People feel unsafe. The government has added new action items to a safety response plan it released late last year in order to tackle the problem. That includes having nonprofit Safe at Home Society operate a supportive housing program at this government owned building across from the Whitehorse Emergency Shelter. The government will also fund two additional members of the Whitehorse RCMP detachment to specifically address concerns from downtown residents and businesses pending legislative approval. This is certainly a complex issue, requires uh, a combination or a balance of responses. There's no one answer, there's no silver bullet. Versa Restaurant's owners say it's time for meaningful change stop all of this from happening you know we we can all see that this is wrong we all know that this is wrong but like nothing's been happening you know we gotta make sure it's it's a safe community we're gonna make sure white horse is safe sarah connors aptn national news white horse